All right, it is time for day two of Elemental Banshee Maya. So today is pretty much just going to be a forward progress day, walking through normal mode here. But hopefully, here in about 15 levels, we will be able to go ahead and pick up out with a bang and have it fully spec'd out. And really start to see how our ability spam goes. I've been watching a little bit of Destiny 2 content recently. I've seen a lot of the transcendent spam ability stuff and it's making me also want to get a pretty good grenade. So we'll see what we do about that. I would like to have our phase lock and our scorn and then a nice grenade to just be able to spam out all the things, shoot as few guns as possible, and really just become the mass spam character that we're meant to be. So that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I really do just want to have an ability spam character super duper hard. So we're going to keep our cooldown relics if we find them. We're going to wear this phaser. We're going to hopefully replace it with a better one with more quicken and out with a bang. We'll just see how we get along. So yeah, let's get started. I will say our weapon swap speed still does feel pretty bad. I am kind of just spoiled by all the mods we've been playing recently. So we'll see how we get along. But with the little Eevee going on, we're doing great damage-wise and cooldown-wise. So this is very satisfying. At least for now. We're probably okay. Yeah, we're feeling great. Yeah, we pretty much just have instant ability cooldown whenever we're with our stacks. And I don't even know if it's because I'm holding a little Eevee necessarily. I think that... Yeah. Okay, so I didn't even need to go get that. This is just kind of how this character plays, I guess. That's cool. Good to know. Good to know I won't really be reliant on it. So, I wonder, with all of our ability cooldown, are we going to be able to just walk up and just spam phase lock Warden to death? Alright, Warden. Oh, it is still playing the duration of the timer. And he's dead. Alright, cool. And mutated Varkids for XP again. We can never escape. It's always the best option. Alright, level 19 real quick. Yeah, this is with six stacks of that skill. I think that, yeah, the cooldown is very strong. I don't even think we need a cooldown relic. I was thinking of getting a cooldown relic, but no, that's, we don't need that. We could just focus raw damage. I guess the Bone of the Ancients does also buff cooldown, but still. We just need damage at this point, I guess. Wilhelm. I know that this isn't really related to our build, but it's just kind of nice to be able to use the Plasma Caster for a little bit that we got yesterday. There we go. More of our kids. Always more of our kids. You'll regret that. That was interesting. Level twenty, real quick. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna get an XP relic, so we'll see how Mobley and Gettle do for XP. And then honestly, realistically, might skip Clan Wars. I don't know. Kind of just depends how we're feeling. We'll see. I'm kind of surprised he survived the first two shots, not gonna lie. Totally thought that would have done it. Ooh, I wonder if the Cleric has changed. Well, probably not the base stats of it, but I wonder if the plus to skills are shuffled around. Hmm, that, that's actually a thing I do want to check. Okay, when we hit level 30, we'll probably go over there and just poke our head in. Just to see. Hold it right there. 
Mobley and Gettle. Not bad XP. I don't really need XP, so yeah, we probably won't even end up doing Clan Wars. I would like a Layuda though. So we'll hang out here long enough just to make sure that we get that going on. Also, grade 11 XP relic. Very cool. That was fun. Okay. Fire Layuda. With a matching grip on it and a crit prefix. That's pretty nice. We'll farm for a little bit more just because we're about to level up. And also maybe we get a corrosive one or something. That'd be kind of cool. Corrosive. Cool. Alright. Well, there we go. And it also has a Vladoff Crypt. And it's also crit. I'm going to blame this on bl 2 fix Even though it probably doesn't affect the parts on these yet. Yeah. Probably bl 2 fix moment. Yeah, I do think also for the sake of our movement speed, we might try to get a Rough Rider at level 30. Just to, you know, have the extra DR and max health and movement speed from that. And then, of course, we are going to go to Tina DLC to check out what the Cleric has. So we've got a little bit of a... A little bit of a shopping list at the end of normal mode here. Get a couple of stacks before swapping off of our little Eevee. And then probably just hang out with this nice Layuta that we got. Anarchy Maya. It, it is fair to say that a little bit because it does rely on consistent killing to be happening. And it is more of a steamrolling type of character like Krieg or Gage. So, yeah, that that is fair to say, I do think. Not too much special about our damage, though. Just the cooldown for right now. Alright, Bloodwing. Yeah, this is not a surprise. Good old normal Bloodwing. And the real. This is so nice. Nice. Back again. I really do wish more mods would include phase lock staying up while you're down. I know that it seems to affect your fight for your life timer and your ability to see it and stuff, but it would be so, so convenient to be able to just do that. I'm just saying, it'd be nice is all. Alright, level 25 before bunker. It's almost worth level 26, but we'll just get it after Bunker.
All right, bunker. I don't. Well, actually, I I do have a way to slag you, but I don't think I really need to. It's only first playthrough. Yeah, just get enough. Get close enough for the layer to split, and we're just fine. Yeah, it checks out. All right, bunker down. Sham would be kind of funny. Although, I guess I'm running melee, so I wouldn't really need it. Maybe the SMG would be cool, then. Or nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Pandemic. Actually, Pandemic in the next map will be really, really good. Okay. Sure. I'm totally going to need more grenade SDUs, but this is nice. Oh, I was blocking where Roland pops into existence. Hold on. Oh, too far. No, no. <laughs> okay. There we go. Alright, level 26. Probably gonna be farming out a Bada. So we'll definitely level up and be able to start seeing how we feel about out with a bang. So that'll feel really good. Wow. Oh, we have a pretty good little Bada. Okay, nice. I do still want to level up, though, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright. Out with a bang. Already, with the plus two into it, does 150% of our melee damage as a Nova. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, let's see what this does. Oh. Oh. It is just an immediate explosion. Like, no no Nova. Just a big explosion. Interesting. That's all. It knocks back all physics objects, too. That's great. I just threw down so many pandemics in anticipation for him jumping down, and he walked the opposite direction. It's okay. Multi-shotting still exists. That was a lot of XP. Okay. There's a hawk right here. I'm gonna circle him while I shoot the BA. Level 29. Cool. Oh, hey, another one. I'm glad he didn't shoot me while I was at the bottom of the stairs. That's concerning. Jack and warrior fight. I think we all know how this is going to go. And then warrior. Actually, not as well as I thought it would. A little scary, but we'll be fine. We're fine. Warrior, 
It's melee time. There we go. Cool. Alright, so first playthrough is done. We are out of time, but tomorrow we'll probably start with going to Tina DLC for our comm. And then maybe Hammerlock DLC for a Rough Rider. And then just hide behind a fleet for a thousand years. Although I guess we could just wait on fleet, realistically. Because I do want to go ahead and spec down Middle Tree the entire rest of the way. So we'll just wait until, like, middle of TVHM. And then start specking it there. That should be pretty good. Go ahead and check loot, though. Wow. Volcano. Yeah, sure. I haven't really used a volcano in a very long time, so that could be kind of fun. And... There we go. Alright, cool. So yeah, we'll pick up next time, do Tina DLC up until we get comms, look at what the comms buff, and then just push TVHM story, I guess. And then maybe get a Rough Rider. If not tomorrow, then the next day. Day two.